Hello everyone, it's Blue Laster, and welcome to episode number 51 of our Pokemon Sun Let's Play here on the channel. In the last episode, you guys, we went ahead and made it to the Battle Tree, and we took, and we met Red and Blue, and we took on the latter of the two, Blue, and he was a bit of a challenge, but we pulled through in the end. And, um, yeah, in today's episode, we will be rematching the Pokemon League, because that's one of the that's one of the first things I want to do on our little like you know like things like to do list of, of the post game. The reason for that is that, like I want to start like we're actually working on filling the decks, and to do that it would be easier if I could like experience share some mods in a place with high level Pokemon. And really, this is like the best place I can think of, so I just want to rematch it the first time. And yeah. Anyways, if you guys are hyped for some more sun, make sure you smash the like button down below for us. Cause you're all oh, ready. No, you support us greatly appreciate with that with that like uh, party recap. First off. And I did get a new item off screen, uh, using some of the BP we've accumulated. First off, we, uh, from Battle Royals. <laughs> Before anyone says I haven't, I haven't, I haven't even touched the battle tree. I'll do that later. But first, we have Agatha level 65, our call Nation beginner who is alert to sounds. Calling the choice specs, which I got. Because, you know, I figured, you know, we have, um, you know, all these moves and stuff. And I should actually go heal up. <laughs> because we're kind of missing some PP on some moves. Like, yeah, anyways. We have Floor Cannon, Flash Cannon, Energy Ball, and Dazzling Gleam. We have my precious L65, our Ivan Nick, the Randy, who loves to eat. Home Scope Lens to get them correct. Dragon Leech Life, Leaf Blade, Petal Blizzard, and Swords Dance. Then we have Diamond L65, our Gentle Nature, Lycan Rock, who's quick to flee. Home the Focus Slash, Rocking up Rock Slide, Brick Break, Crunch, and Cellar Rock. Then we have Rufus L66, who's got the team on his back. Our Dawson Nation Incineroar, who is so stubborn, holding the Insidious Z, Rocking Darkest Lariat, Flare, Blood Spill, and Earthquake. Then we have Zero, level 65, our Tim Naked Wishy Washy, who's highly curious, holding this quick clock, because he ain't all that quick, despite being uh, timid. In his school form, he is atrociously slow. Anyways, we're rocking Scald, Ice Beam, HP, Poison, and Earthquake. Last but not least, we have Buzzkill, level 66, the general of the team. Our Hazy Naked Bigfold, who likes to fight, holding the Life Orb, rocking Pen Double, Bug Buzz, Energy Ball, and Air Slash. Anyways, actually, instead of going back and healing, I could probably just use a, ma a max, uh, or I guess a regular elixir, actually, because, yeah. Right, yeah, a regular elixir should do the trick. Yeah, yeah, boy. Alright, so let's go ahead and slippy slide on in here. So if you're on the Pokemon League, you won't be able to leave again until you beat- Okay, yeah. Yeah, sure. Fuck it. I don't care. Let's <laughs> hit that door, though. That's a pretty cool animation. Now let's go ahead and slippity slide on into here. Alright, now... We took them on in, like, order last time, like we did this, this, this order. Should we just do it in a random order this time? I don't know how to decide, like, what order. I don't, like, I don't have a dice on hand. Um... Yeah, I don't really have... Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know. You know, let's just go with, um... Okay, uh... Let's go with... I don't know. Let's go with you first. Let's go with you first. Let's go with Olivia first. Cause I don't know why. Why not? Why the fuck not? All right, Olivia. Well, 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 but the fuck I will get to the motherfucking rock chamber. I've been here before. You don't need to introduce me. You know, that animation though is kind of lit. It's kind of lit. Anyways, uh, this shouldn't really be too much of a problem because we have like three Pokemon to deal with rock type now. Now that we have our, uh, Magirna, so let's go ahead and do this shit. I won't be holding back, motherfucker, my rocket, but I'm grinding the dust, honey. You pu you're puny little motherfuckers, I'm gonna go down in one hit, ha! Ha! Okay, now. And hopefully this time I can get, th I get I can get through them all in one episode, but we'll have to see. Anyways. You seem to be kind of lit. Alright, el Elite 4 Olivia. Right, uh, Relicanth, are you gonna have the same Pokemon, because higher levels? That'd be kind of boring, to be honest. Actually, we have Energy Ball in the gear now, so let's do this shit. Because I got rid of Shadow Ball for Energy Ball, because, well, Shadow Ball does have a dope-ass animation. Uh, energy Ball is more practical for coverage and shit. So yeah, let's go for this. And go Drowsy, I mean, do you have Sturdy? You do not have Sturdy, I don't even know, if, I don't even think Relicanth gets Sturdy. Get the fuck out. Sometimes I feel like Relicans could have been like a, a third fossil Pokemon, kind of like how Aerodactyl was in first gen. Golem? Okay, I'm gonna switch out just because we're gonna fall asleep. So I know we have that boost, but let's go ahead and go into... Let's go into Precious. Let's go into my Precious. 
I freaking love Lorantis, I swear. And level 63, so we're at a decent level. Like, we're only a little bit, we're only a little bit above them. Alright, let's hit him up with that Leaf Blade. Actually, you have, uh, I'm pretty sure you have 30. I sh probably should have gone for something to break your 30. Actually, that's fine, because I don't think that's going to make you heal either, so. That was a crit, too. Giddy, goddamn. Stone Ankle, we're not a bug type, so. Ah, uh, so that's a lot, but we can eat it up. Alright, um, Leaf Blade. Alright, you're not going to heal, so this should kill. That is a dead golem. Alright, golem, get the fuck out. Get out of here. That was another crit. God damn, precious. You are too precious. You're almost too precious. Lycanroc. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and, um, yeah, let's go back into Agatha, because I want Agatha to have, because Agatha, Agatha's our newest team member, so I want her to have some, uh, a lot of limelight. Alright, Lycanroc. Alright, let's go for Flash Cannon. He put that Flash Cannon. Oh, you have Brick Break? That's fine, because that's neutral, because we're Fairy type. Ha! Ha! I mean, I guess, to be fair, that's probably the best thing you could have gone for, so... And when his selection rocks, he's getting obliterated. Obliterated. Alright. Soul Heart's gonna activate. Soul Heart's... Yo, I just realized. Soul Heart's basically like the special version of Moxie. Bro? Because I remember, like, I used to say, like, I wish there was, like, a special version of Moxie. Because, like, you know, that'd be cool. We... we... Oh, right. I'm dumb. Choice bucks. <laughs> so I have to get used to my, uh, new item. You know, I think you are sturdy. Oh my god. That was a Specs plus one flash cannon. I mean, I know that was neutral, but still. That Pro Pass ate it up. Jesus. I mean, one more, one more is going to kill, but still. For a Specs plus one stab flash cannon, I would have expected that to do more. I mean, I get that you're part uh, steel, so, you, so it's neutral, but still. Or should I say, but steel? No, let me stop. Alright, you're getting a little 66. Nice, nice, nice. 200 special attack. God damn. Carbon click to stay in, because, you know, we're quite effective. Uh, even though you're probably going to have sturdy, but... Eh. Eh. Alright, Flash Cannon, hit. let's hit you up. You know, sturdy? Oh, no, you're not going to have sturdy. Alright, never fucking mind. I would have thought, you know, any Pokemon that ha could possibly have sturdy in an Elite Four would have sturdy, but, you know. Alright, we feed Olivia. That wasn't too hard, really. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to go ahead and light up. Alright, nice and rainbow pool colors. What spectacular motherfucker you are! Now the children of the Lola finish their island challenge, they can visit the motherfucking poker league to try to become the champion. Oh yeah, that's another thing, in the in this game, you like, the champion is kind of like a different version of well, quote-unquote champion, because like, you know, you're fighting someone for the title. Like, you're defending your title as champion. So I think, I think that's pretty fucking dope. Anyways, uh, who do we want to take on now? I think, you know, let's take on, uh, this, this, um, this girl over here. Kahili, I believe her name was? Alright, so if you're gonna be, uh, flying types, then, I mean, ugh, you lead with a Skarmory, though, don't you? So I'm gonna lead with a Rufus, because I'm pretty sure you lead with a Skarmory. I am pretty sure you lead with a Skarmory. So let's go ahead and slippity slide on into here. Because I'm pretty sure you lead with a Skarmory. So here you are. Why don't we see who's the wind's favorite today, you or me? I forgot what her voice is, so I'm gonna give her a generic voice. And I probably shouldn't do that if she's like freaking Elite Four, but I mean, what else? What else am I supposed to do? I mean, I, I, I wish I could remember what my Winona voice was back in Omega Ruby, but I don't. So, so you came to battle me again. If I beat you, the, the number one ranked trainer in, all, in Alola, they'll be ready to take on the world. I'm coming for you, Techno. I can remember the same voice I gave Lucy, but whatever. I mean, we've duplicated voices a couple times in this LP, so fuck it, fuck it. Anyways, here we are battling at Kahili. Kahili. All right, what are you gonna lead with? You're gonna lead with that scar. Yes. I predicted you. I predicted your lead. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead since I'm pretty sure this thing will actually have sturdy. I'm going to go for Dark as Lariat to break that sturdy. Rock slide. Oh, of course you got something for fire types. That. Oh my God, that did a lot for a non-stab. And we flinched. Oh no, you're setting up hazard, so no, whatever shall I do? Alright, Darkest Lariat. Darkest Lariato. Alright, that's going to do... Okay, that's... Okay, I, I don't really care how much I did because I'm just going to Flare Blitz now and kill. Ah, uh, of course you're going to... I swear to feckin' feck. Thank you, alright. So Flare Blitz should kill, although I, we might go down to the recoil. Please don't go down to the recoil. 
Please do not go down to the recoil. Please. Oh, 3 HP, Rufus the God. Alright, 2 Cannon is coming in. Alright, let's go to Diamond. Because we got that Rock Slide, though. You know, we actually haven't really had a battle. I mean, we've ha we ha we ha yeah, we battled her 2 Cannon last time, but... That was, like, not, that was, like, really not much of a challenge at all, because she just switched into it to take a Thunderbolt. And just got obliterated. So... Alright, Rock Slide. Wait, isn't it... Wait, why is your Ace the same level as the rest of your Pokemon? What the fuck? Are all their Pokemon the same level? Like, are they all level 63, whether it's supposed to be their Ace or not? If so, that'd be kind of lame, TBH, because... Like, you know, it's called your Ace for a reason, right? Crobat, uh, let's say in, I guess, because why the fuck not? Why it hey fuck not? Alright, you can actually find some Rock Slides. Dark Pulse? Boy. That actually did a lot, though, and... Okay, all the credits, so I should be able to take another one. Oh, Shadow Ball, and they call me Mr. Dodge. Alright, Rock Slide should kill, and if it doesn't, then we should be able to just excel a rock next turn, but it does kill, so... Goodbye, Crobat. Goodbye, Crobat. Alright, let's see, I know you got an Oricorio. Alright, you got a Mandibuzz. I'm gonna switch out, um... Go into Agatha, because the thing type. This thing is of the dark typing. All right, all right, all right. All right, so let's go ahead and go for... Let's go for Floor Cannon, I guess, because why the fuck not? And the signature move. So, yeah, why not? All right, Man Buzz just got annihilated. We are... We are annihilating Kahili. Like, we are, dr we are like, sweeping her team just with different Pokemon. All right, Soul Heart Boost. Alright, Oricorio, yeah, my, and I believe you have the fire one. I will go into diamonds and that will be quite effective, but you know what? I want to see something. I want to see something, actually. I want to see if an Acceleroc can kill this thing from full. Because it's quite effective, we're three levels above. I want to see if it'll kill. I want to see if it'll kill. <laughs> nice work, Diamond. Nice work, Diamond. We beat Elite Four Kahili. Kahili. Alright, so that's two down. Two to go. Alright. And he's not really gonna worry about that too much. Okay, okay, now. Alright, we I, I think we do wanna heal up now because our Pokemon are kind of beat up after that. Rufus is still living on beastly three hit points. Agatha's a little bit low. Diamond's also quite low, and then Precious is about half, so... Alright. So the question is, who do we want to take on next? Who do we want to take on next? Alright, there's a the little thing. Let's take on the ghost one next. And we could still lead with uh, Rufus, but is there anyone else we could lead with? Uh, no, I think, I think Rufus is still the best lead. Because, you know, dark type and against ghost type, yeah. 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 Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, meet up with Acerola. Also, I, I figured something out because, like, she said she was, uh. Hang on, Acerola here, bring your old Royal Touch to Pokemon League! You already said that. Anyways, uh, I, I, because she said something. I think one of she said something about uh, her standing in for, for Nanu, who, yeah, I guess didn't want to do this or something. So that's why Nanu, one of the Kahunas, isn't here, but. I, fig I think I figured out why the fourth Kahuna, Hapu, isn't one of the Elite Fours. I just gonna get starting in this. Um, because... I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that, like, when Kukui decided who would be the Elite Four members, I'm guessing that at that point, Hapu wasn't yet Kahuna yet. So I assume if she was Kahuna, and if Nanu had accepted, then, they, then probably the elite, the elite Four would have just been the, the Four Kahunas. So, yeah. Alright, you're gonna leave your save- oh, of course, I forgot that you leave the save light. Like, should've led with, uh, Agatha, but- oh, well, whatever. Oh, well. Rufus can still deal with you all the same, all the same. Alright, let's go ahead and hit you with that Flare Blitz. Start off nice and strong. Fake out, really? Really, fake out? Really? R really? Alright, Brick Brick- you have Brick- really? I didn't even know save light like, got Brick Brick, what the fuck? Alright, Flare Blitz. Should do a lot. I don't know if it's gonna kill, but it should do a lot at the very least. It's gonna straight up Oko, goddamn, save a lot. You stood no chance. You stood no chance, my dude. My dude. Delmise? Oh, this thing. 
I was gonna stay in. Uh, I'll heal up though, but yeah, we'll stay in. I, I want you guys to know, I literally, like, not too long before I started recording this episode, I was literally hunting for a Delmise. Like, if you guys didn't know, like, in, um, in Seafolk Village, the first, uh, and only town on Pony Island, uh, you guys know that Steelix houseboat thing? You have Earthquake? Okay. Um, but yeah, that's, um, there's a little rippling fishing spot out there. That's where you can get a Delmise, and I was trying forever to get a Delmise. Forever. You know, let's go ahead and hit you with this malicious moon salt. I don't care anymore. <laughs> this is payback for you being a bitch for me to try to find. I love this emu so fucking much. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's one of my favorites. Like, easily top three favorite emus right now. Easily top three. Hiya! Alright, Delma is gonna get a boat. Okay. Alright, so what's next? Palisand? That's a ground type. Alright, so let's go and go into zero. Because we haven't seen much zero action yet in this episode, so... Let's get this money. Alright, Palisand. I actually... Palisand's kind of dope. Like, I don't know. I, I might... I was considering using one, but... I guess I ended up not... I guess I ended up not doing that because... I don't know. I mean, one of the reasons was I took me... I, I, I didn't even find a Sandy Gas until, like... <laughs> like, the other day. Like, literally. Like... Apparently, you can find Sandy Gas where, like, just outside of the Heno, Heno Hotel, where you're taking to Ace of Paradise for the first time. Uh, where, you know, you know those little, little things where you can find Star Use? Apparently, you can also find Sandy Gas there. And also, fun fact, Sandy Gas does not actually evolve until level 42, I believe. So, it, it uh, takes quite a long time to evolve, so... I don't know, I just didn't feel like using one. Anyway, Scald. I'm gonna barely not kill you. Water compact, and that doesn't matter to me because you're, because I'm using special attacks. And go for ice beam this time, predicting the heal. Yeah. And so ice beam shouldn't do as much as uh, skull did. And even though it does, and I don't think I think you're like limited to like two floor stars. I think I don't know if the elite four get get much more. Even if you did get more, I don't think you I don't think you would heal at this point. So let's go and go for that scald. Yeah, boy. And so pal sand is out of here. Alright, so what's next? What's next, Acerola? What is next? Driftblim? I got Ice Beam. Stay in. Stay in. I have motherfucking Ice Beam, bitch. I have motherfucking... will that's not gonna... That's not gonna do shit, because... My only, uh... Physical attack is Earthquake, and... Obviously, I'm not that dumb. I'm not gonna Earthquake a flying type. Yo, shout out to that one, uh... I don't know why this, I was just... Oh, <laughs> We got the freeze, not bad. But yeah, I don't know why this reminded me of this just now, but I'm going to bring it up now. I like how, like, on Showdown Random Battles, there's a, a chance you can get a Rotom Fan with Levitate holding an Air Balloon. <laughs> like, how redundant can you get? A Rotom Fan, which is part flying type, so it already is immune to ground moves, with Levitate to make it even more immune. <laughs> and, oh, thank you, Euro. And it's holding an, uh... An air balloon to me. It's like, what? Alright, Frost Ass is coming in. Alright, um, uh, let's go ahead and go into d Diamond, I guess. I guess. <sighs> also, I don't know why, uh, Agatha doesn't get, like, Saw Shock or Psychic. That doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I know, I guess that doesn't really need them too much because against fighting, it already has Fairy and. I mean, I get, I, it would help against poison, I guess, but at the same time, steel's neutral, so I don't know. Unless Frostass is gonna get out of here, and I think that is your last Pokemon. I do believe that is your last Pokemon. Yes, it is. Because I'm just that good. I'm just that good. All right, so we have one more Elite Four to take care of before we end up the episode. And honestly, I don't see that one gave us. It gave us trouble the first time. Um. But this time, since we have a much better fairy type than we did last time, not hating on Alolan Ninetales, but it's, uh, it's offensive stats are kind of booty, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, so let's go ahead and put Agatha up front. And honestly, I don't see this, this one taking, giving us much trouble this time, because, you know, Agatha's a fucking beast, and we can probably... I'm calling it right now, we're, we, we could easily just sweep, um, Hollow with, um, Agatha. If we get, like, some Floor Cannon... Floor Cannon? Hold on. Soul Heart boosts up. 
I'm so into this fighting chamber we got. I don't know what it's what it's actually called, so I can call it the fighting chamber. It would be cool if they had like names like the Action Wild ones did, like the Ironworks Chamber and the Flood Chamber and the Blazing Chamber. Oh hello here to make here to make you holler. I know I didn't really bother with the voices much for this one, but I'm probably gonna do his voice just because I like, freaking love his voice. Like his voice is probably like one of, one of my favorite voices of this LP. Alright, hello. Welcome champion to the Pokemon League where strength is everything. Now with love in our hearts, let us clash in Pokemon battle. I love that voice. I will never cease to love that voice. That's gonna be like one of my key voices in every LP. Alright, so the last Elite Four of the episode is going to be Hala. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's, he's pretty dope. I like it. Alright, he's gonna leave us Hariyama. Hariyama! Alright, Agatha. I'm going for Dazzling Gleam because I don't want to go for Floor Cannon just yet because I don't want to... Like, I want to get some serious boosts up before I go for Floor Cannon. Fake it. Oh, come on. Why, why did two of the four Elite Four members start with a mom that has Fake Out? Like, really? Really, my dude? Alright, Dazzling Gleam. Should do a lot. I mean, it's Choice... Actually, we're, we're Choice back, so we're not going to be able to switch, but oh well. We're not going to be able to switch moves, but it's okay. We, we, we'll probably be able to sweep him with Dazzling Gleam anyways, as it is, so... Who cares? Probable, stay in. Yeah, you know, I just realized, typing-wise, Magirna body is probable because Steel Fairy... Steel's good against ice, and then Fairy's good against fighting, so... Probable is just gonna blow him the fuck back. That's kind of a, a mouthful of a name to say, though. You can't get your tongue twisted while saying it, you know? Alright, Soul Heart. That's plus two now. Alright, Primate. It's funny how, like, uh, he gave us so much trouble the first time. Like, he took us... What? What was that? Stomping Tantrum? <laughs> it's gonna get bodied, so... That was a crit, too. Crit clearly matter. Come on, now. A plus two, stab, super effective, choice specs boosted, dazzling gleam, crit mattered. <laughs> Alright, Beware's coming in. I think we have speed of Beware. I think we should have speed a Beware. Yeah, so this is gonna get, because, fun fact, your ability Fluffy does not work on special attacks, it only works on physical attacks, so, goodbye, beware. Alright, Soul Heart, and I think your last Pokemon's a Polyrath, if I remember correctly? Yeah, because he took us, like, t over ten minutes last time. And this time we're just sweeping him in, like, like two minutes. Like, goddamn, Agatha's just that good. I do not regret giving you the Choice Specs at all, because Choice Specs, Soul Heart, is a... Freaking OP combo. Look at that. Agatha's already our highest level. She went from being our lowest level a couple episodes ago. Or, like, literally last episode, she was, uh, last episode she was our lowest level. And now she's our highest. Like, literally. In the span of, like, yeah. I mean, I did do, I did uh, level her up off screen a bit just to get her on par for the Elite Four, but yeah. A hot bunny battle like that always sends a shiver through my whole body. I'm sure my Pokemon felt it too. Alright then. Swagger like a fucking ding dong. Anyways, so that's gonna lead that thing to there, and then the little thing's gonna light up in the middle, so we can take on, uh, the, so we can defend our title, but I think we'll be doing that in the next episode of Pokemon Sun. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Sun and are hyped for more, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, because you all ready? No? Your support is greatly appreciated. With that, I'm gonna get about. Thank you all once again for your support, and thank you for the video. We'll be out this bitch. Peace!